Hey there, do you like Stalker Gamma? Because you should. Welcome to Stalker Gamma, a mod about surviving the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. But in this zone, it got very spicy. Holy shit! And it's full of dangers. Like vampires, I'll suck your dick. local Ukrainian gobdicks, mind controlled soldiers, and my neighbor's pitbull, Daisy. But also, the zone itself. I will be making my way to the center of the zone on Iron Man difficulty. That means if I run out of life, my save gets deleted. So join me as I make my way to the center of the zone in Stalker Gamma. To begin with, I'll be turning on hard and survivalist difficulties. I'll be picking the loner faction, which puts me at the beginning of the game. The loner faction are basically the chads of the zone, who are not affiliated with any faction. If you're not part of any faction, you're part of the loner faction. The gear I'll be taking at the start is a Thompson 45 God's Caliber, a stalker body armor suit, and some medical supplies. And of course, we have to name our stalker a good name, Muglover91. What happened to the other Muglovers? Well, we don't talk about that. Iron Man on, three lives to start with, and the life granter. What does this mean? It means I get one extra life every 24 hours. Let's go! If I lose all my lives, it's game over. Ah! I also have accessible zones in story mode turned on because the game could break uh -oh. if I turned it off. Whose foreskin is this? Which allows me to get into the miracle machine. And if you don't know what that is, I'll explain that later. Day one, I load up my gear and go see Sidrovich, the local con artist, collect his quests and all the quests in the media area. First quest is gay man mutants. I got some Slavic slave labor to help me out, but on our way to the objective, we were ambushed by bandits. Where are you going? Which we fight and of course, don't take prisoners. At this point, I've run out of ammo and I can only use my knife now. So I complete the quest for the ATF and get paid. Next, I head over to Agroprof, as I still need to complete my quest there. And as I'm about to pick up my package, I hear... My death. <laughs> oh, never mind. Moving on, I get back to Sidrovich and immediately start to gamble, lose all my money, and scum save. I then go to get an anomalous artifact. Unlucky for me, it's a radioactive area. So, to negate the deadly effects of radioactive materials, I use another deadly material, Ukrainian alcohol. And with a little bit of jumping around, I find it, anomalous bread. I also find the motherfucking bread. I sell it immediately and then buy ammo and go to garbage. And yes, it does live up to the name. Unfortunately, I was chased down by a pack of local boars. Oh, shit. I head to a northern farm and manage to fend them off with a broken shotgun. Uh-oh. Where'd the door go? Back on the road, I find more bandits, shoot them, and of course, don't take prisoners. Time for cartel execution! But what I didn't know is that I was being watched by a 255 pound American merc with a raging erection for my fucking ass. I didn't have enough ammo, so I ran for cover and laid in wait as my Twitch chat demanded blood like the little goblins they are. Okay, do I wait for him? Do I wait for him? Do I wait for the merc? Why do I have full ammo again? God shined on me as I had an ammo bug. You see, I've been using Gamma Mag Redux, which gives all guns magazines. Sometimes it bugs out and gives me infinite ammo. And if I was a lesser man, I'd run. But today, fuck it. We ball! Whoa! He's close. Ah! <laughs> How's he not dead? I'm out. <laughs> Holy shit, he took so many bullets. Oh my god. I'm at the oh. Dirty barrel. Ooh. An AK-101 with a dirty barrel, which is an insane find in this game. But well, you're probably wondering, what does this all mean? Well, Stalker Gamma has a gun mechanic system. If brokey, it don't worky. You can find guns in disrepair or purchase them at a local registered gun clerk of your choice. He has no tongue. If you have the mod trader overhaul on, which I do, but fixing up a gun is far cheaper and it's very expensive to buy a new gun. So I'll aim to fix the AK-101. For now, welcome to garbage. I get chased by <gasps> boars Fuck. and then die. Oh. 
This was so unlucky to be killed so early on by boars, and those boars were in my way. So I hatched a plan to get past them. I would use high ground to my advantage. Turns out the boars could still get me, and I had to make a run for it. I do make it to the hunting lodge and grab some supplies. I head over to the duty HQ at Rostock, get chased by a gang of toddler consumers. <laughs> my flesh is tender, and they want it. Lucky for me, the duty stalkers at Rostock are not dog lovers. They gun them down immediately. One of the stalkers actually dies and drops a nice AK-104. Very epic loot. You're probably wondering who are duty. Well, there are military organizations set on defending the zone from everyone. They hate fun, hate mutants, and use powered armor. Oh my god, it's the Brotherhood of Steel! Anyway, I loaded up and headed off to army warehouses to try and complete some tasks. When I got there, I had an unexpected, reasonable, Slavic conversation. And after having riveting social intercourse with a local gobnik, I had to leave um, as I ran out of ammo. Problem. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I fast traveled to butcher my beloved and bought 45 caliber bullets at half the price. On my way back, I heard something not human. So I ran for the safety of the Rostock checkpoint. It's right behind me, isn't he? It's right behind me. I wasn't as safe as I thought as the guard shot me by accident. After I handed in my quest, getting healed up, spamming my PDA for more quests, I went back to garbage to buy more sweet ammo. And then it happened. A new life. With my newfound confidence, I went and slaughtered the local dog population of Rostock. <laughs> I also acquired oh, no, little cocaine because I was not sleeping in game. Sleeping does not fast forward time for getting a new life. Every day, new mutants spawn, so staying awake was important. My lover was fueled by vodka and cocaine. A man so angry, if he were to send a complaint to a company, it would be in cursive handwriting. Next, I repair my gun with parts from other AKs I picked up. Very nice. Now, with new firepower and a lot of ammo, I went back to army warehouses. I fought some bandits and of course took no prisoners. I had another interesting conversation with my gothic friend. I went over to complete my hitman target quest, which was very easy as my target blew himself up with a grenade. Quest complete. Easy money. I even found an artifact location. Sidefield! A Sidefield. Artifact location was goddamn fake. Okay, the life I gained moments ago is now lost. If you're wondering what a sci field is, it's a brain melting field which was created by the seed consciousness, which I won't go into. And this is my second life I've lost. Well, shit. And since I forgot to save my game, what the fuck is what is that? I have to do my Hitman quest again. <laughs> got him. After which, I got jump scared by a controller. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. While chasing after me, he was killed by Gopnik. Is that the controller? The bandit was left injured. Did I A. Take him as a prisoner, B. Help him, or C. I killed him. After committing a cartel execution, I found an axe, which I immediately put to good use. Right back step, back step. I'm the spy! <laughs> I grabbed the new slave, I mean friend, and fast traveled to Rostock to speak to Barkeep. But Barkeep was on that PCP shit, pointing his gun at me. He thought I was some dumb, white ass, cracked out, sissified snork with a hard on for human goulash. I also happened to run into a lot of radiation. Oh, fuck me! Which I got rid of by smoking. My thyroid is uber-charged, and my lungs are literally charred. It was time to go to Yantar to purchase the Psy Helmet. On my way back through garbage, I met a group of friendly mercs. that all for me? Oh, whoa! Yeah, they killed me. And this gave me only one life to work with. Very stressful. I reloaded my save and let the duty members kill off the mercs. And I sucked up the loot. After which, I went on my merry way. Uh-oh. Time to go inside! This is a psychic energy storm sent by the Sea Consciousness to clear the zone of infection. It's just a shame that you are the infection. 
If caught in the storm or not in cover, you'll either shoot yourself or turn into a zombie. So, better to stay inside when an emission is happening. After enjoying the beauty of an emission, I finally reached Yantar and I purchased the Psy Helmet. This will help me get inside the Miracle Machine. Uh, let me out, let me out! It will be ready for me in two in-game days. The medical machine itself is a psychic beacon that fries anyone's frontal lobe. This turns him into a Valorant player. Let's see who we meet today. To forever be stuck in that one game where the e-girl oo-woos for every kill made by the top fragger. <laughs> Day two. I acquire a new skill for my very nice AK, grab some quests in Wild Territory, which is Drug Runner and Defend Rostock. Drug Runner is just me picking up a package for the local Mexican cartel, and Defend Rostock is a quest about killing those 6 foot 4 American mercenaries. So to get there, I would fast travel. That was my last life. The run's over. Just kidding. I had the most incredible luck as my game crashed. My game crashed. Which means it never happened. I was literally saved by a broken game engine. The AI that shot me was a duty member. And you're wondering, why was this duty member trying to kill me? Well, do you remember when I decided to test out my new fire axe? Well, I forcefully volunteered that duty member as one of the test subjects. They were not very happy. But lucky for me, in Rostock, the stalkers didn't seem to care. It was only the ones in army warehouses. And for some reason, they would chase me to the ends of the map. Why is he chasing me down? While being chased, I came across some juiced free stalkers, who I hired as muscle to keep me alive. They did well, as one of them had an exosuit built into their armor. This right here is the making of an army. In world territory, I ran into what looked like a black hole. What in the world is that thing? I nearly ended my run by recreating Isaac Newton's first law of motion. Oh! My defend Rostock quest auto-completed. Back in Rostock, I handed in my quests, shot someone's pitbull, and then fast traveled to Corden for easy money. But what I didn't know is that I teleported right into a bandit's birthday party with extremely fucked fucking guns! And of course, we killed them. And you guessed it, we took no prisoners. I grabbed Sintovich's quest and found more stalkers who wanted to join me. I even came across a legendary oh, stalker, legend. Petro Scythe, or as I like to call him, John Stalker. <laughs> top stalker in all the zone with over a thousand confirmed kills man woman or mutant it's just a job to him when you see a problem he sees a solution he's an unstoppable force a cold-hearted killer and i just got him on my team and how is that you ask well it's part of a quest they escort him to another part of the map if i don't deliver him he won't be leaving my side and with this massive boon I have over 11 stalkers on my backing call. Nothing is going to stop me from getting to the center of the zone now. So, with this army of 11 stalkers, I went to complete some main quests like Living Legend. Not main mission. But before that, I tested out my army on some Ukrainian soldiers. Boys, get him! All right, John Stalker, go get him. He's dead now. Pretty good, apart from the AI always aiming at me. Whoa, please, please don't kill me! After murderizing a bloodsucker, I took my army to the swamps, a renegade infested uh -oh. mutant living hellhole where rookies go to die. Speaking of, my 11 stalkers fought two renegade bandits, and it didn't go well, as the cracked out bandits wouldn't die and repeatedly tried to kill me and my fellow stalkers. Who is this guy? Who is this one guy? Why is he so unkillable? That's the guy. He's called Bodian Maniac. Who the fuck is this guy? Well, we ended up killing the bandits at a high cost. Uh, oh, we lost one. Oh, we lost two. At least the true protagonist is still alive. John Tarkov. No, John Stalker. Where is he? Wait. Wait, what? No. 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 He can't be. He can't be. No. No. I mean, for. No. 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 The number one stalker met his grisly fate at the end of a car 98. Fired by a rookie bandit. He was a good stalker. Maybe even the best. But alas, we must move on. This long fight left me in a bit of a pickle. I was riddled with bullets and full of radiation. 
So I returned to army warehouses, and as soon as I did, I got a new life. Let's go! I have two extra lives now. The percentage of me losing the run has now decreased. While I was there, I picked up a delivery quest, and as soon as the stalker gave me his package, I opened it immediately. Come on, I gotta open this bad boy. I also found that my game was running a little bit slow. Oh Seeing as there was quite a lot of AI on Look screen at, at one Look time, at I had to remedy this by killing more people. I went to Truck Cemetery to hunt down an infamous bloodsucker. The bloodsucker was easy prey, and this was an easy mission. Or so I thought. Wait. Wait. What is that? What? Uh-oh. It's a pseudo giant. Titans Ow. of the zone. <laughs> mutated from human beings that got up on the wrong set of the bed. With armor as thick as steel, it's a biological tank that could instantly kill me with one hit. But I'm not going to fight it. My stalkers Boys. will. I'm with fire. Kill that thing. Uh, uh, shit. Fuck, shit, Come shit. Ahead, boy. Kill it, kill it, kill it! This could be bad. This could be bad. I'm losing men. I'm losing men. Ah! You know what? Only one thing for it. Oh. oh, the Titan crashes down dead and lifeless on the ground. I did lose a few men, this is true. But if God wanted them to live, he wouldn't have made me. Day three, my game breaks, telling me I'm dead. Why am I dead? A snork tried to gang stalk me. <laughs> and I gather my thoughts, gear, for a push into a dangerous zone. But before I delve deep into the abyss, I must crap night vision goggles, which wasn't hard with all the junk I acquired. Testing out my night vision, they seem pretty overpowered. Very good. And you wouldn't believe my luck, because as soon as I made night vision, I found them in a random crate next to Sidrovich. Oh, there's fucking night vision inside of here! Now it's time to see the old man, who will give me a quest to enter the center of the zone. This quest is about stealing from those richer than you. Stealing Strelok's personal belongings, not for money, but because he's better than you. His belongings are in the first circle of hell, the Agroprom Underground. And I got into combat with mutant cats, and I wanted to try my axe on them. This was a bad idea. Let's talk about the most dangerous monster in all of Stalker. How about you guess? Is it a pseudo giant? No. Is it a controller that fries your mind? No. It's a cat. It's a fucking mutant cat. These things are so fast and can sometimes kill you in two hits, which has nearly happened to me a bunch of times. After eating a can of cold baked beans, I acquired a new life. Let's go! I have three lives left. Not bad. I went to check on my Psy Helmet in Yantar, and it was completed. With this, I can enter the underground to complete my main quest. Yet I didn't know what true pain is in the Agroprom underground. I love this part. Boy, Doc. Get him, boys! Get him, boys! I shot one bandit. I have committed. Oh my god! How many did I lose? One of the bandits threw a grenade and killed his own team and some of my guys. Crab one. What you want some dick? I this guy. <laughs> his name. Whoa! Hey! I got loot, but um, my game crashed. Man, these bandits suck. What are they shooting me with? Like fucking paperweight? What the fuck? Clear it out. Huh? Yeah, you got it, guys. Yeah, you've got it. Yeah, you've got it. Don't worry. <gasps> no! Oh, they got it. They, they fucking punched it to death. Yeah, that polar guy is pissing me off. Fuck you! Stop throwing shit at me. Oh, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. I'm hiding. <gasps> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck it. Break out! Ow! I think I got it. I think I got one of them. I think I got the blood sucker. Woo! I'll slice the fuck out of you! He's a side sucker! No, no, no! No, he's gonna fuck me! <laughs> Dead. I just lost two lives in this hellhole. Two of them. Clearly, I'm not ready. In the wise words of Hong Zhong Liang, if you want to go through the asshole, you must first stretch it. So I decided to build an M37 shotgun from scrap weapons. 189 damage, extended magazines, 81% reliability. Accuracy? Uh, 59%. But what do you expect? It's a shotgun. So after all this, I wanted to check out the Miracle Machine. On my way to it, a duty member spotted me and activated his Crash Game PK3 file. 
After my restart, I went to pick up a package that was inside a super irradiated house, which I gave up on. In the wise words of most unemployed people, I ain't getting paid enough for this. I went through what I can only describe as the devil's butthole, and it was very, very spicy. Oh! After nearly getting cooked alive, I made my way to the miracle machine. When I got there, I was cooked alive. By what, you ask? Yes, you guessed it, radiation. Seems like I need a hazmat suit, but to get one, I need a lot of money. So I repaired UNI's G Mark II armor, which I found in a log, which was left by UN agents trying to destabilize the zone. The stats on this bad boy are pretty good. I have acquired UN Drill. With this armor and 14 stalkers currently acting as my fist within the zone, I went off to the military checkpoint to blow up some BTRs to make some money. There's a platoon's worth of highly trained and equipped soldiers at the checkpoint. Some of them are the most dangerous enemies within the game, and they're at their peak deadliness at daytime. <laughs> and I have zero extra lives left, which means I have to go in at night. So, Bravo 6 going dark. We gotta snipe the guy off the gun. Where's the gun again? It's like right there. There he is. Watch this. You think they can see me? Nah, there's no way, right? Send in the army! Flush them out, boys! They're engaging! Oh my god! Ah! After an insane gunfight in the dark, I destroyed my objectives and went back to the main loner camp. The craziest part is that I did all this with no lives remaining, so if I died, it would have been the end. Next on the list, I will be killing some mutants in Gordon, but the unthinkable happened. Gasman's looking fine as hell on, on her. <laughs> oh, cat! Oh, another cat! Oh, two cats! My final life snuffed out by a goddamn cat. I would like to thank my lovely artifact hunters on Patreon. Where do you think you're going? I'm not done. I have a few more important things for you to hear, so don't click off the video yet. On my Patreon, there is saucy images of the stalker girls for only one dollar. And when I mean saucy, I mean naked. That right there is a steal. And it's not this stalker. Many other video games will be getting art as well, and also requests from yourself. There's also behind the scenes, deleted scenes, and posts from myself to you guys. Anyway, I have a second channel where I've been uploading my live streams. You can also watch me live on Twitch every Saturday and Sunday. So if you want more of me, go take a look.
Also, there should be a video of my first Iron Man run for Stalker Gamma on that channel uploaded there right now. Big thanks go to my Patreon and their amazing patience. And to my friends Hans and Junker for helping me with some Blender stuff. Anyway, more videos to come. I swear it won't take eight months this time. Anyway, uh, bye.